Hi everyone. Today we are diving into a really exciting topic. How to read data from Firebase real-time database using ESP8266. If you have ever wanted to pull data from a Firebase and see it in action on your serial monitor, you are in the right place. Before we get started, uh, let me just give you a quick overview of what we are going to cover in this tutorial. We'll go through setting up Firebase, connecting the ESP8266 to Wi-Fi, configuring Firebase on our ESP8266, writing the code to read data from Firebase, and finally displaying that data in real time on the serial monitor. I'll also share some tips on handling errors along the way. Alright, let's jump right into it. First, two, we need to set up Firebase project. In your Chrome, type Firebase and click on the first link. Here you need to uh, log in into your account. And when you are logged in, go to console on the upper right corner. Then click on create a project and if you have already an existing project then you can skip this step here i'm going to create one so providing a project name continue here i don't need uh, google analytics so i'm disabling it it would take a few minutes now click on continue when you click on continue it will redirect you to the uh, project automatically now you need to go to build in the left corner and uh, go to real-time database after that you need to create a database for your project now here you can let these default settings as it is next and I recommend you to start in test mode as it allows read and write access without uh, any restrictions. So after that it will take some time and uh, it will create a database for you. So now as the database is created you just remember to note down the database URL. You will need that later. So let's go to our uh, Arduino ID and cook some code. Now that our Firebase is set up, let's connect our ESP to Wi-Fi. Here is a sample example code I have written. Make sure you have the ESP8266 board installed. And if you haven't done this yet, you can uh, refer my video in the I button. Now you need to replace your SSID and your password to your actual Wi-Fi credentials. After this, uh, just make sure to select the correct port and board for this project. So you need to go to tools. So for the port, I'm uh, selecting this one as USB serial slash 1420 is my port. Here I'm connecting my ESP board. And as we are using ESP8266, we need to just go to boards. You need to select uh, ESP8266 library and uh, the node and CU 0.9 ESP12 module. This is the only configuration you need to set up in this before compiling the project. Now let's try to upload this code. Okay, hard resetting is done. Now you need to just copy paste these things only in your uh, personal project. 
and make sure to replace your project ID with your Firebase project ID and your database secret with your database secret. I'll show you how to do that. Go to your console, click on project settings. Now service account. And when you scroll down, you can see the database secret. Click on it and again scroll down. You'll find a secret code which which you can copy and paste from here. You can copy it like this. I paste it here in your code. And for Firebase project ID, this URL I, I was talking about. This is the only thing we have to copy it here in the Firebase host. Replace it. Okay, now comes the fun part. Let's write the code to read data from the Firebase real time database. Here's how you can do that. I'm just uh, placing it like this. In this loop, we are trying to get a string from Firebase at specified path. If it's successful, we print it to the serial monitor. If there is an error, we display the error reason. And that's it. Now we will upload this code to our board. When you run this, you should see the data from Firebase printed out in real time. If you change the data in Firebase, you will see those changes reflected in the serial monitor after the specified delay. And uh, we have specified a 2 second delay, then it will reflect after 2 seconds. Okay, the code is uploaded. So let's try to open the serial monitor. For serial monitor, you need to go to tools and here you can find serial monitor. Just open it and you will see connecting to Wi-Fi. Set the board rate to 115200 to match our code. Now you can see that the desired output is not reflecting in our serial monitor. This is because we have not created any entry in our real-time database in Firebase. So let's head on to real-time database. Set the path to the data in Firebase database. So we need to make an entry in our real-time database and provide that exact name or we can say that exact path to our Firebase data. So I'll create some entries such as we can write a message in the place of key and uh, and it's any any string in place of value. I'm writing this hello world. And now as we have created the entries, serial monitor is reflecting failed to read data, path not exist, which means we have to provide the same path in our void loop also. We need to change this path through data to our uh, actual path, which is message. And if we again compile and upload it, and after these changes, when you run this, you should see the data from Firebase printed out in real time data. So as you can see that it is fetching data from our real-time database. I have changed the value from hello world to hello user for testing. Now if I go back to our real-time database and change this uh, string to hello everyone and press enter, you can see in the serial monitor the message is getting updated. So this is how you can do this. Now let's quickly discuss some common issues you might encounter. If your ESP8266 isn't connecting, make sure your Wi-Fi credentials are correct and that your Firebase rules allow access. Also check the path you are using to read data. If it's wrong, you won't get any data back. Always use the error message to guide your debugging process. And that's it, you have successfully connected your ESP8266 to Firebase real-time database and displayed data on the serial monitor.
and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below